but uh man this is this is really really fun yeah and of course aatrox is picked here we didn't even have to comment on yep. that but... yep and still up 6 cs so no harm no foul i'm just gonna move on over but oh my goodness no root is gonna be caught out of his bullet time that was just being used to clear the wave as there's a killer instinct but not gonna be able to find the kill as kind of boops back summit and now, if he finds any abilities, Punch is going to move on in here. Has to dodge this one. Flash now on cooldown. Punch lines it oh. up and finds the Q. Turret, then it becomes very predictable where you're going to run. So Punch was able to get that done. Well, now Punch is going to die, Valdez. Unless he can safeguard his way out. Void Seeker picks the gap in between the sandbox members. Looks like Shelly will be consumed here by T1 as Cuz picks that one up. And now Summit being collapsed upon. Flash in from effort. And he will be able to find the chain CC to lock that one down here fully. Uh, they're going to try to give a lot of that gold over to Kana. Unfortunately, their AD carry is back. See that uh, Teddy, no worries at all. He's just going to let this one go. This OGN <laughs> Legion move. Has the collective random. has the collective been replaced by the OGN Legion is the question. It's Cuz now looking to jump in on the dub. Oh, the dredge line is going to nail the kill and it's delivered over to Faker. Perfect. You know, in that case, it wasn't it wasn't like game one where he could have easily flashed. So here's Summit dying again. Well, he's not going to die just yet. Shock Blast not going to find the target. You can see Cuz held on to his pillar. And uh, Summit now. Uh, look, can have learned. Have a look in his inventory. That is denial of the healing further forward in this game. Yeah, the game is kind of falling apart quickly as that was a really nice hook through the minions. But bullet time, a pretty good ability, yep, is that's... going to deny any kind of engage. Yeah, Kenna going to take down this top in a turret also as uh, T1 just parade. Oh my goodness, if Teddy still had his Killer Instinct available, you bet believe that he will be utilizing that one. Is There's Punch going in with uh, his Q, but I don't think this is for any good reason as that's a double kill for Kenna. <laughs> and charge on the Gorilla, but he's able to create enough distance there. And Kaz going to be taking down this uh, Cloud Dragon thing. <laughs> yeah. So I may have to do the same here as T1 just look on a different level third that was sometimes on the same level, but not quite towards the end here at the split. And then everybody else was below them. And yeah. That, that has been the story here of Spring. It has been a very... Doesn't find him with any of his protobelt charges and just throws the uh, bubble in the wrong direction. As now Summit, he's going to flash, but I have a feeling that he is still doomed. There is so much CC available and uh, Effort's even going to light him have in this particular game. As uh, Effort's going to get bound, does have his stone plate already completed, is now Punch. He might just get flashed on and he does. Dredgeline going to land yet again and Effort turns around getting caught into uh, catching the sandbox unawares. It's now Faker taken down to about half. Bullet time comes in. Effort in a bit of trouble to try and get here to defend it, but it looks like he's not going to bite off more than he can chew just yet. And it is going to mean that that objective does go over to sandbox pretty handily. Well thought out play from the side of the T1 support. I think he might be able to pick up player of the game for this one. Yeah, I, I was so already far, thinking that. His mm -hmm. position is known. As Dove will have to hit this bubble. I uh, don't even know whether he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, it's down, so he's not even going to be able to get out of there in Canada. Just is going to give them a little bit of an extra boost as if they needed it with how far they are ahead here. It's in the hole. As you can see, Faker building towards a pretty cool hat as there is a flash depth charge. Sorry, dredge line and a very deadly sin. Much more worthwhile than uh, the Dragon Soul in game number one that our sandbox seems so excited about. Teddy pushing up this lane, and uh, Fake is going to secure that kill onto the Infernal. Is yet another uh, Root's health bars bugged? Because I can't see it. Um, yeah. Oh, thankfully this bars. Redemption comes in to try and uh, pull some of it back there as Cubs looking to try and dive under the turret. Dove will collect an entire uh, Q as uh, Punch going to be obliterated. Faker finds the back line. Teddy 1v1ing Dove, just going to move on over. Does have the Ignite ticking, and I believe Teddy will still fall down as now Summit. We're going to try and pull one back. Faker going to die as well. From the top as side, Sandbox do have vision on this Baron, as there's another dredge line that comes in, but Effort might actually be sacrificed here, and he is going to go down, but now Faker finds his way in. He is going to pop the Moonfall, does a lot of damage, and now there's Teddy to come in and clean up. As Dove's going to go down, the Flash utilized there, and Teddy's going to get his revenge, as Root is... Uh, well and truly out of position. He's saying, why can't I go the way of the Jinna 80 carries and head to T1 as well? But the answer is going to be no. The red team that he headed towards was Sandbox. And uh, in this particular series, that was the wrong choice. They're just going to go for it. 31 minutes might be the, the game time here for both games, just back to back. T1, yeah. they're able to fully ace the enemy team. It looked kind of wishy-washy and messy to start the fight, but 
because Faker was able to keep everybody around. They're going to wait for the <laughs> potential kill there. Not quite going to get it as the Nexus will go down and T1 will pick up the 2-0. Yeah, really clean there.